What's up? It's Cabby. You're back, man. I am back. I just got out of prison, and uh, I did one year for a misdemeanor tax violation, and uh, I went from Fort Dix to Fort Devens, and uh, I'm here to see Howard and say what's up, and the whole crew, and I miss him, and I miss you. Thanks, man. Yeah, no, not really. Uh, <laughs> thank you. You weren't thinking of me? <laughs> no, I just, it's good to be back, man. I, 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 I've been gone. I'm, I dropped like 80 pounds. Yeah, man, you look good. It's you crazy, look, right? You, look, you can completely see it in your face, especially. Yeah, so um, I'm out, I'm free, and uh, I'm just going to go and say hi. Uh, yes, Gary. So I know we have the gossip game, and I've got Cabby waiting in the wings. Just tell me what you want to do next. Well, I think we should do the, the, the Cabby interview next. You never yeah. know with that guy. He could right. be back in jail before you know um, Don't you think, Robin? Absolutely. This yes. is breaking news. It looks great. He looks good? I mean, he looks great. Did he you looks recognize great? him? And almost not at first. I mean, he's he's down Bring to the, the thinnest here. I've ever seen him, and he's dressed nice. He's been out of prison maybe a, a, an hour. That's amazing. He did he his time. A, an entire year. His name is Crazy Cabby. Some people just call him Cabby. Or Lee now, right? Sometimes or, Lee. And there might even be, there's a hint that there might be another new name. Well, I thought he'd given all that up and he was going to be Cabby because he spent so much time building that brand, if you will. When Cabby went into prison, there were no such things as cell phones. We, <laughs> this is a very different man. Wow. There's a di- going to make me cry. Look at this oh, guy. Oh, Come here. Give me a hug. Right Come here. here. You did your time. Mm. Look at this guy. Boy, you look different. What's up, man? Come here. Mm. Yeah. My guy. The only motherfucker who wrote me in jail. You're damn right. I can't write. Robin, does a, <laughs> Robin did write, but she tried to show up, too. I did. You've got a nice haircut. Crazy. Crazy cab. That's a prison haircut. <laughs> That's I didn't even have barber? to pay sex for that haircut. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wait, I just want to do this real quick. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You're you holding your ass before you sit down. You're not still sore. <laughs> well, it's been a year. We'll go there. Cabby, uh, first of all, welcome back. Thank you. And uh, Nice you, digs, man. Let me tell you something. It even smells assy fresh. <laughs> wow. I do got some scuffs on my knees. You want to see? <laughs> What's that See, from? Can you see my scuffs? What's going on? Prison softball, man. I was a champion in the softball league. Talk to me, man. This is unbelievable. What's you, up, Cam? How's Yo, did you put on about 50 pounds, bro? <laughs> Try Whatever 70. You How you doing? What's up, sir? Good, good to see you. Again. You took it off. Look, I can't up, believe he looks, he looks almost like a... Good to see you. Like he a looks preppy, like a young guy. Like, yeah. 80, po- 80 pounds. I went in at 320. I'm wow. 240 right now. How did you do that, first of all, before we get into the everything else? You well, look great. How did you lose 80 pounds? I started at Fort Dix. I, no pun intended. <laughs> I tried uh, an Atkins type thing, vegetables and meat. Which I was able to pull off uh, a lot of the weight. Exercise every day, walking the track, killing time. Is there a track in prison, where, an outdoor track? Every prison that I was at, the two, no. uh, they have a track. And there's no weights in the prison system because they don't want the inmates to get bigger than the guards. Right. The guards are frightened to death of the inmates. Right. And they should be because those guys have a lot to lose. A lot of guys have a lot of time for crimes that... Some of them, man, I'll get into that. All it's, right. There's a lot to talk about, man. I'm going to have stuff to talk about for years. I know. You know, some of your letters to me seemed as though it was the worst hell a human being can be in. I mean, you've served in the Middle East. You mean the ones you didn't read? The oh. ones you shredded? <laughs> I heard about that. I feel like shredded. They started Beth, to get redone. Beth, did Beth catch you shredding one of my letters? <laughs> she did. She did. She goes, what are you doing with Cabby's letter? I go, it's all the same letter. I can't take it. Yo, those are going to be in the Smithsonian someday. <laughs> Talk to me. First of all, the, the the big news was at one point you were you had changed your name, but you wouldn't reveal your name. And I started to worry you were losing your grip on reality. What happened there? I, uh, well, my life was saved in prison by God. And not... I'm not religious, and I'm not. I'm spiritual. I always have been. Yes. Part of that comes with my sobriety. Artie, how you doing with that? Uh, you know, <laughs> I've been there. I yo, uh, I do me from time to time. But you, Cabby, you've had sobriety. You were in prison. I mean, you so, do you, yo. But I kind of lost my sobriety because they drugged me in a federal prison. I think allegedly, supposedly, that's how I'll put it. I started to think maybe you had a little mental breakdown like the old That's days. what uh, somebody tried to push on me 
It wasn't a mental breakdown, man. Something happened. You feel you were drugged in prison? I feel that something. I, I'm was gonna. Was it in your food? Or are you thinking of what? what? I'm for for uh, for right now because I haven't consulted attorneys, and I'm going to consult attorneys for right now. I'm just gonna say something very bad happened at Fort Dix in the special housing unit. Oh. I've done many drugs in my life, and it was not a mental breakdown. It was. Uh, evil, and it was, I believe, something happened with my food, hmm. and it had uh, uh, the qualities of a narcotic, and that's what I'll say. Why would someone want to drug you? I don't know. The last thing I remember before it all happened was, fuck you, uh, fuck Howard Stern, enjoy your meal, motherfucker, and that is no bullshit, and that, mm -hmm. that night, I started talking to myself and babbling to myself and losing grip on reality and it lasted for a better part of 50 days <laughs> and i'm talking yo out of this world seeing things talking to myself talking to you talking to dead rock stars demons flying in out of me uh talking to jesus who, are you, who are you? now you think that's a mental breakdown you can believe that but i do not think what it rock was. stars yeah, who visited? Yeah. I mean, a lot, lot of, a lot of current ones that I've interviewed, and not just talking to them, Howard. Yo, talking to them in my voice and their voice coming out of me exactly as their voice. Kevin, you know I love you. Can you do but Keith Moon? Just, can I just, <laughs> can I just say something though about that? Yeah. You remember when your TV was talking to you? Yeah, but you I was doing drugs. Thank you. Oh, okay. So he's uh. saying he must have been drugged. So, okay. I and I yo, I said this to the psychiatrist at uh, Fort Devens. Yes. Cuz he tried to put it on me as he was telling me to forget about what happened at Fort Dix. I said, "How am I going to forget?" He goes, "Forget about it like you forgot about the war." Cuz I have PTSD, right? I wait, suffer from it. Right. How, wait a second. How long have you been out of prison now? An hour? No. How 2 long? hours? Uh, four something. Four hours. You right. got out this morning. Yeah. What was that like for you? I mean, you did a year. A year is no easy time, is it? You know how people go, ah, oh, it's just, he just Listen, got a year. When you're doing a year and you're surrounded by guys that are doing 15, 20, 30, 50, yo, there was a guy in my unit, he was doing 50 years and he had done 20 of it. You know what I'm saying? A year they, is a year is nothing. Do, uh, but do, a year is still a year in my life. Do the other prisoners get resentful that you only have a year? Some do. You can see it, but most don't because they they seem to be yo. That's your time and that's my time. You know what I mean? They 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 don't. There was, as I see as I saw it, there was no resentment. But yo, some guys. Yeah, there's anger. Now, what but kind that's of prisons their crime. were you in? Because we just read that Richard Hatch is going into, he had the same kind of a deal where he had a tax problem, and they've given him 51 months, and they said he's going to do really hard time. Well, there's different classifications. Mm -hmm. The camp I was in was a camp, mm -hmm. and that's low, like your lowest security level. But when I <laughs> allegedly tried to kill myself by hanging myself from a table... This is what they said. Yes. That was a foot off the ground. Mm hmm That's hard. During my alleged mental breakdown. Yes. Which I say was not a mental breakdown. It was... You feel you were medicated? Yeah, not medicated. Drugged. Tor tortured. Tortured. Yo, if you drug me and I'm in a federal prison, and this is what I think happened, allegedly, supposedly, and I say that because I still haven't spoke with an attorney. All right. So, if, 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 if you... Okay, when they say I tried to hang myself, but that's not what happened. Do you see any strrangulation marks on my neck? I can't. There's too many tattoos yeah, on Yeah, I think the tattoos cover <laughs> I thought it was but, a strangulation mark. But that night, they were videotaping me through the window, yes. and I was flipping them off, and I was naked in my cell. because Who I, was videotaping The you? COs. Because I thought they were going to come in and try to shatter me. Wait, wait, I got, you got to you back up here. This is wild, what you're telling me here. This happened. When you went into prison. Yes. I remember the day you went into prison. The reason all this started in the SHU, the special housing unit, the whole was because I called your show yes, from you the cell phone. Right. You're not the supposed to do that, I we guess. I called from a cell phone from a federal prison. Right, you're not allowed to do that. There are well, no, you're not there supposed, are not supposed to have to, a cell phone. There's not supposed to be cell phones in the federal prison system. But the reason that it all started was because I wouldn't tell them where I got the cell phone because I don't tell on people, and you're not You're not a to, rat. I'm not a rat. And right. I, the guy who gave me the phone... Yo, 
however he got it in there, yo, that was his deal, and I wasn't going to rain on his parade because he was good enough to let me use his cell phone to call now I your show because you were leaving the air, and I wanted to give you a little going away present. By the way, Cabby, I noticed now when you speak, you use the word yo, almost like a black man. Were you surrounded by a lot of black people? I in wear the coat of many colors, and I blended in with all of them. Did you? Did a group try to pick uh, you out? In other words, did you... Uh, Many groups did. The Italians sucked me in first. Yeah. Represent. Guess who I played bocce with the other night? Who? John Gambino. Wow. <laughs> nice. Nice. I beat him. And that I'm was still smart. breathing. Let me ask you this. He was a good guy. Very good you guy. You went into prison. You yes. had to be freaking out. I mean, you're not a guy who's ever been exposed to... I almost to got in a fight my first day. I'd with... like to say that Mr. Gambino is wrongly in prison. Yo, yeah. you, speaking of that, he was supposed to get out after serving 15 years, and the day he was getting out, he told me this story himself, because we were sitting next to each other yesterday when I had my form to get out. Yes. The day he was getting out, his family, 20 members of his family were there to pick him up. They stopped him at the door and pulled him back in. He's been waiting nine months. They're, uh, they're going to extradite him to Italy to, for some other thing. Wow. And, he, you know, he just ran a construction company. <laughs> So, yeah, that's, that's what he what told me. Doesn't saying. make any sense. That's what, yo, that's what he yeah, told me. Nice concerned. guy, though. Great bocce player. Kibby, what happened when you did, wrote me these letters that you were going to change your name? Uh, I was going to change my name to something else because I felt that the prison had killed Lee Morozek and Cabby. Right. And I was going to change my name to what, Mason. 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 Yes. Why Mason? Yeah, because you said this is my new signature. Because but it looked like a symbol, you it looked, Yeah, it looked well, like a Well, because scribble. some of the fellas that were uh, uh, doing things to me were uh, Masons, Freemasons. I ah. see. So you decided to change your name to Mason to Yo, make you stronger. Because the big Mason saved me. Hmm. And you know who he is. God. Right. And have you switched religions? Are you now a Muslim? Uh, Salam alaikum. I'm all religions. No, really. What are you, seriously? I'm just spiritual. Did you you didn't I, have a conversion? No. I, I did. <laughs> actually, I so I could get the common fare meals, I did change to Jew. I'm a Jew. You're a Jew? Yeah. By, by prison only. I'm a right. pew. I'm a prison Jew. Because <laughs> so, the common fare meals in prison are you get f fresh vegetables, and that's what helped me lose a lot of the weight. Kosher meals. Because the, yeah, the kosher yeah. meals. And because the prison food is unbelievably but bad. Can't be, be serious with me for a I'm real, being very, be very serious. serious. On a scale of 1 to 10, yeah. to 10 being the hardest thing you ever did in your life, was this the hardest? Well, it, it wasn't the hardest, but it was uh, a very learned experience because, yo, there are some evil things going on there, and there are some crooked things going on there, and there are some bad things going on there. Uh, no, it wasn't the hardest thing, but the two months that bad things happened to me in the shoe... Those what is things, the shoe? The, it's the special housing unit. That's where you go when you do something bad. And that, that solitary? Yeah, you're, you're locked in a cell. But I was, for a month of it, I was locked in with another inmate, and he saw some of my um, drugging or my alleged uh, hijinks, what was going on. So I have witness to what happened to me. How did you get so tan in prison? You look like you just yeah. came back yeah, from Miami. Yeah, like a vacation. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, you actually don't look I, well, that I didn't bad. spend my walk in the yard. Or at, at de yeah, in the yard, you know, yeah. playing softball, right. walk in the yard. Was there any sex in prison? Like, did, I know that you've taken it a few times back there. Uh, uh, did well, you ever? Did you ever get lonely and say, you know, no, I'm going to take a no. bitch in there prison? There was no good no. looking. Nothing. No. Did anybody try to fight you and say, there was, I'm going to have so, sex with you? What is this? That's your mic. Sorry, it's crazy. Hey, things have changed in the technology. That's right. Um, there was some. The federal prison system is not the same as, it, well, at least where I was, not the same as the state prisons. There is not as much violence as that I saw in the prisons I was in. Now, other prisons are maybe. Right. There was a, a couple scraps, but uh, I, I'm not really going to get into it. But there was almost more scraps, but there's a lot of more talk than goes on. So did you guys try to fight you the first day you were there? Yeah, I almost got into a fight with uh, two fellas. But it What never, was that about? Because I brushed up against one of them, and he said I didn't say excuse me, and I, you know, I wasn't going to be his bitch, so I said, yo, what, you know? But it never, uh, it never accumulated. Everybody talks a g big game, but nobody. nobody I did. think they thought I was going to be a pushover, right? But I said, what, you know? Here I am. Let's go. Let's do it. The thing, the thing was always, let's go in the bathroom. And I was like, what does that mean? Like, are we supposed to hug each other or have sex? And so you got to be prepared to fight in prison. You have to be prepared to fight, yeah. But it's not, it was never like, 
smack right then. It was always you had to go hide somewhere because otherwise, because there was always a CO or a camera. There's a lot of cameras. Thank God there's a CO. Who wants to be fighting every minute? Well, you know, that's just it. I almost got in a fight like my third to the last day with a fella, and he said, let's go into the gym. And then when we were go, I was like, okay, let's go into the gym then. And then we started walking into the gym, and he saw that I was ready to go, and then he wanted to talk his way out of it. And I right. was like, and then he wanted to bring three of his friends with him. Oh, for three of them, great. Yes. Well, One of the things minute. I learned in prison is uh-huh. that uh, the Hispanic fellas, they want to always bring their friends with them to fight. Mm-hmm. There, yeah. yeah, I uh, learned that. That means something, yes. Yeah, Puerto Ricans and the Mexicans, they bring their friends to fight. Wow. But this place you were in for the final part Devon's yeah yes the medical center that was I'm gonna tell you about Devon's yeah it went fast but there is something that the world uh, does not know about Devon's but doesn't the world know about Devon's it is a pedophile farm what (laughs) there is five to six hundred of the sickest demented pedophile 12 out of 1200 inmates there is about five to seven hundred, maybe six hundred pedophiles there. Oh my! Yeah, it's very disgusting. It's very disturbing. You and they just harbor them there. You know, Ugh, and they're I'm supposed to be. Sick. Yeah, it's. Yo, I couldn't walk around the track as much because you just don't know who you're talking to and who you're mm-hmm. walking around with. And it's. I call it a pedophile island. <laughs> Wait, what are you going to do today? Like, where are you going to go sleep tonight? What, what's going on? Tell me, tell me Can the plan. Can I come over? Really? What is the Can plan? Can I cuddle with you and Beth? Hell no. Well, what's, I'm going to go the... have lunch with Tom C. Oh, wonderful, good. I got to find a job. Yes. Now, I got to find a job, Howard. Is Tom open to hiring you over there? Uh, there's a possibility. Is what there about a possibility? You, sure, there's a possibility. We could talk to people All here. Possibility. You're yeah, a radio I'm, performer. I am a radio performer, and I have, uh, you know, I've never uh, really had the opportunity to tell my stories, mm-hmm. my life stories, because the past year has just been a. I'm a sponge, you know this, right. and you know I'm giving you tidbits. You're teasing me. You have no idea. You're tickling my ass with a feather. <laughs> you have no idea the thing. Man. Artie, how does it feel to see Kevin? It's been a year. I, I'm really, I feel good. It feels good to see him. I really feel happy that he's out. Artie, I want to tongue your butthole. Can I say that here? <laughs> yeah. There were tongue. There were tongue. Why Fuck do you, want, you. Why do you want to I tongue? can say that. Why do you want to <laughs> tongue? Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off. Why do you? I never got to say that on the radio. Fuck off, <laughs> fat boy. He said it during the commercial. <laughs> Fuck you, Benji. Fuck you, man. Well, this is a celebration. Freedom. For- Freedom, man. Fuck off, Howard. Will you ever stop? I love your fucking cock. Well, you Stick it in my ass. All right. I'm oh sorry. My God. Talk. That's the cabbie we know. Yeah, yeah, will, right? you pay, will you pay your taxes now? Yo, you know, that's the funny thing. Uh-oh. Maybe you shouldn't have a job so you don't have <laughs> yeah. you know a problem you know, you know how many people said that to me? <laughs> Just say yes. And yeah. I wanted a punch in the mouth. The simple answer is yes. The crime is not in not paying your taxes. Okay, it's in not it in? filing your taxes. And I made a huge mistake, and everybody should pay their taxes, but especially file your taxes, people. Now that you did a year in jail, do you feel you were really picked out because you were on the radio? Do you think other people would have gone to jail as much as you would? You know, I don't know, and I don't... Mm. Uh, one the, one of the biggest lessons I learned in prison was, man, I don't control shit. I control little old Lee, man. Because when you go to prison... Uh, this is uh, a, a fella I met in prison. He was doing three years, and he said, when you go to prison, man... You're fucking dead. If you do three years, you are dead. And if you have a relationship, it's dead. Your parents, your f- wife, it's f- if it's for more than three years, you, you are basically dead to the world. Did your girlfriend visit you in uh, jail? Yes, she did. She did. Yes, she did. Is and that still going on? I'm just going to, uh, we're just, uh, next question. <laughs> when is the last time you saw her? Uh, I hadn't had a visit since January. Is your, Are you ready because to Because I moved up to the Massachusetts uh uh, the fine woods of Massachusetts. Are you ready to explode sexually? I mean, are you ready to... No, I've been jacking off a lot, man. You have? Yeah. Can you jack off the, the roommate? Uh, the Village Voice. I got lucky. The, the back voice. of The back of the Village Voice, all those little pictures they got. <laughs> yeah. Right? Well, we asked the fans to send you magazine subscriptions and newspapers Listen, and things like that. Listen, I got defrauded. My mail, uh, they really fucking cracked me in the head on my mail. I don't know how many letters didn't get through. And thanks for not writing, people. Howard, I wrote Howard, you. you fucking wrote me. Man. I did. I you did came write through. All my letters, I guess, got taken. Yeah. <laughs> they did. Yeah, possible, Robin. Robin. Yeah, it's yeah. possible. Oh, I see Dominic Barber's on the phone. I haven't heard from him in a while. Dominic. 
Hi, Cabby. I'm glad you're home. Yeah, thanks for coming to see me, you fat piece of well, shit. Well, Cabby, let me just say one thing. I'm 61. I've been a lawyer 36 years. And he's never no visited anybody. No time other than the way you did it. For me to sue them or make any trouble while you were in there would have only made it worse for you. You know, Amy Fisher, out of 15 years, did 10. The last five of it, she could have got out in four and a half years was because she kept suing and fighting everyone. I heard from your doctors, and they thought you were paranoid schizophrenic. And I didn't know, and I did not want to make it worse for you. And I'm happy you're home. You know, I always helped you, and I love you. And I like to meet with you and tell me, you tell me the stories, and if there's something I can do for you now, I'll do it. But I wasn't going to do anything that would make one extra day. You know, the thing, my whole thing was, is at least somebody could have came up there to show that, yo, you got someone in your corner, man. Just do you know that? Do you know that three people came to visit you and the prison turned them down? Yeah, and you know what? <laughs> that the, was a long. Do you know how long we were there that day? I do, and you, they changed. And this is what I was told. And I don't, you know, I, now that I'm here, I can say these things, but I'm still on probation for a year. But I was told that they changed the visiting on purpose that day. To jam it up. And, and, and we really felt it. And they screwed everybody else in that prison. But they screwed us more. I know they did, but all those families that were waiting out there with you guys. Yeah, there was a line, like, forget about it. Right. Well, forget the it. Day, we, the day after Thanksgiving to screw all those families. And I heard you uh, talk about it on... That's torture. We were there for 12 hours, oh, Robin, shut right? Up. right? Shut up, Artie. Oh, we were there. <laughs> but, but, Let me just say two things to you. Number one, your visitation was changed. You were at one point declared non-visiting at all. But, Cabby, uh, be very, very careful what you say on the air today. I know. I'm done Even talking though, about uh, it. Please listen to me. Please. Yes. Any comment you make that is interpreted as violent or way out there, you can get violated. You're not done yet. So, please, I mean, you could talk about stories. You can talk about things that happen. But you can't say I would have killed this guard or hurt that guard or this I, or that. Did I say that? Never. No, no, you didn't. Okay. He's well, just warning you. He's I know. You I'm just saying. I, yo, you know what? The guards at, 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 at Devin's treated me with Devin's treated me with nothing but respect. And I, and I want to say that a hundred times. Those guys treated me well. They really did. The pedophiles? Because they knew. No. <laughs> they know how to treat Devin, me. No, the Devin's, the, Devin's treated, the Devin's folks treated me with mad respect, especially the warden. The warden right. up there. When my phones got cut off because I screwed up, he helped me right at the end there, make some phone calls to set up my way out of there. That was nice. Yeah, he, the warden was good. Warden Wynn is his name, and I, I will give him mad respect. And the COs, they, they were hands off, and they, you know, they treated me with respect, and they actually, you know, but I'm not going to go any further there. So I'll All right, Gabby, next week maybe we can have dinner. I'd like that. And That's nice. We'll see you about will you pick me up in your Bentley? I'll, I'll be more than that. I'm very happy you're home. Can Don't I stay on your I boat? Of course. Don't right. think I wasn't worried about you. All right. But understand, Thanks. anything I said to you at that point would have only made it worse. And I didn't know where you were uh, mentally. I was so terrible. Are you feeling uh, angry toward Dominic? I sense No, uh, no, no, no. I just wish, I, honestly, I just wish oh. someone would have came up there so they felt that, I don't know, whatever, man. It's Listen, over. Dominic, it's over. Dominic, Dominic spoke to me about you I know. two times while you were in prison, and he said, this guy's just got to do his time. He said to me, point blank, you got to do your time, and that's it. He I just needed this guy to see a friendly face. Well, if you see, well, some people try. Yeah, friendly well, if they would have let us in, you know we would have come. No, I'm saying after the, after oh, the bad things oh, that Dick's happened. Okay. Oh, all, right. At, all right. Dominic, thank you. I'm I'm going to get off. The greatest fear I had, Cabby, was they didn't release you today. They put you in a psychiatric hospital. They can keep you there forever. So I'm glad you're home. I know. I've I met know. I met some of those boys that are, are uh, the stories. Yeah, one-year sentence, four-year psychiatric can happen. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, there you go, Dominic. Thank you. That was one of my worries, too. They, they have what's called civil commitments. Mm -hmm. And there's guys, uh, there was uh, the story, I can tell you the stories for days about these Were guys. Were you afraid they there. put you away for four more years or something I was, like that? And that's why I wanted to see a friendly face so that they knew that someone cared about me because... I wasn't getting a visit. And, yo, there's guys that are in there that walk around all day that talk to themselves and babble themselves that are never leaving prison, that have histories of violence against COs, stabbing COs. And these guys, you know, they're, they're there because of that, but 
they're never leaving prison. You know, and they get, or or their crime that they committed before they got to prison, mm-hmm. they took the uh, reason by, uh, not guilty by reason of insanity. So they get incarcerated under a civil commitment. And then once they get in prison because they're truly crazy, they never leave prison. Mm-hmm. Right. They don't get convicted of a felony, but they get put into a federal medical center in a mental hospital. Did you make any friends in prison? Well, you don't make friends in prison, right. but you meet some interesting characters. Hey, Dominic, prison is the scariest, right? Oh, he's gone. Prison he's... is quite... Uh, but well, did you have any women trying to marry you or anything? Scott Peterson, he got tons of mail from women. No, like I got Kevin. Kevin didn't get any proposals. <laughs> Speaking of mail, your yeah. listeners and your fans, man, especially at Dick's, the mail really, after Dick's, really... You're, they sent me so much mail, and I tried to write a lot of it back, but I the stamp thing was a problem, and especially right. uh, you can only... I, I want a big thank you to everybody who wrote. Yeah, well, big a ups. lot of people were really uh, concerned about you. Go ahead. Lee, Kevin was telling me you did have sort of a, a little love connection in there, right? You reconnected with somebody from your past? Yeah, but I don't really want to talk about oh, okay. that on the air. Because he wanted me to There's actually... some things I want to uh, leave... Private. Okay, because you wanted me to bring that person in at one point. I, right. I, I, when I spoke to him the other day, I said, "Is there anything you want?" Like I would have, you know, stacked the studio with scores, girls, or anything. Yeah, but he just wanted this. What one about thing. Taylor Rain? Oh, right, he wanted Taylor. Is she Rain. still working, or is she done in the business? She's been. You, I, I, she's off and she's on. She's working. No, no. There was a, remember there was a period of time she wrote on her website that she was getting out of the business for a minute because she. She was, heard Cabby was coming out of prison. She said, "I'm getting out of the business." That was <laughs> the end of it. Out now. Uh, let's say hi to Jen, who wants to say hi to Cabby. Let Cabby take a few phone calls. He's here. It's got to be a very, very emotional day for him. He I spent a year find incarcerated. Out, you know, we once reunited Cabby with his mom and his uh, biological mom. How crazy is that? You bring her up. Why? <laughs> Unbelievable. I My phones got turned on. They were turned off for like three months because I screwed up, and they turned them back on. And one of my last phone calls before they turned them off again, before I came out, out yesterday or today, I called dear old mom. Yeah. And she goes, oh, my God, it's my birthday yesterday, and you call me, and it's like a birthday present. And she always gets my birthday one day off. What do you mean? She, she gets my birthday wrong, so I don't think she's my real mom. And when I was in my <laughs> torture chamber, one of the things that came up in my head was that you faked it, uh-huh. and I want a DNA test uh-huh. to see if she's really my mom. Are you mom. fucking not? Oh, maybe you are. Oh, no, listen to me. Listen I to me. Your, 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 your listen listen to me. You with your this was a fucking thing that came up in the, the whole drug thing. Yo, when I tell you, and I'm not going to say on the air because of legal things, Mason, yes. some, some of the things that came up, Yo, one of the things was <laughs> that you fucking faked my mom, <laughs> and that ain't really her. Uh, and <laughs> yo, I'm just telling you, bro, because I'm being straight up. Work. Yeah, yes, I did that. <laughs> but because she always it's Bob Levy's mother. listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> yo, for, she sent me a birthday card at fucking Fort Dix, and it said "Happy Birthday," and it was dated July or I'm sorry, July, December twelfth. My birthday is December 11th. Even on my birth certificate, it's December 11th. So, well, maybe she's just confused. That's yeah. all. No, you think we faked your mother? I'm not saying that. I'm saying when I was crippled with drugs right. in a federal prison, allegedly, <laughs> supposedly. All right, that shit came up. All right, Jen, you're on. Did the Did you air. fake it? Hi, Jen. Are you hot? <laughs> Am I hot? Yeah, but I'm married. I don't care. Um, well, welcome out of prison. Rings don't plug holes, you honey. Crazier than ever, but listen, <laughs> all the uh, the yos and the know what I'm sayings. I don't. I'm not a uh, Sal or Gary here, but you sound a little like you were hanging out with the brothers. I hang out with everybody. I'm. I. I, I Sounds I'm, like Cabby has picked up a new pattern of speech, which I suspect will change absolutely. in the months Fine. ahead. It will yeah. change in the months ahead. But yeah. He's now. He's caught Maybe up in prison life. There are a lot of. There are, the there are the lot, yo thing is quite charming. I yeah, think there are a lot of black men incarcerated <laughs> in the federal prison system, sister. 
Notice you didn't pick up any Yiddish expressions in present. There's just not a lot of Jews around. Yeah, Bushmaster, yo. But I am Jewish. Yes. I just wanted to say hey to Cavian that he still sounds crazy to me. Can I eat your ass? Well, he is crazy, Cavian. What are you going to do about sex? What was your big fantasy in prison? Talk to me about fantasy. Yeah, your day first day out. Yeah, like I'm still down for the gangbang, bro. I love gangbang and and eating. You're going to go to cream tonight, pussy. You're going to go to scores tonight. I love the cream pies. What are you going to do tonight? Are you taking me to scores? I'm. I'm busy tonight. I can't be with you. But are you going to scores tonight? What are you going to do? Yeah. I, I, you know, I'm, you know, I'm not a big stripper guy. Right. It's just not my thing. No. They got B.O., half of them. And mm-hmm. are you going to try to get to your girlfriend? What are you going to do? I don't know what I'm going to do, man. Yeah. I'm, do you I'm, have a place to live? Are you uh, set? I have a friend that's going to let me stay there. And uh, nice. first I got to check in with my P.O. Right. Because that's you got to check in within right. 72 hours. That's right. priority. Okay. Yeah, don't fuck that up. Yeah, don't right? fuck that up. Artie, how are you doing? Are you and uh, uh, um, what's her name still together? Mm, don't bring that up. She left you Aww. for therapy or something. You didn't go to therapy. Yeah, you got it right. Yeah, yo, I, yo, I was getting go. updates. There was there was updates. He's coming back in. with her though. Let me ask you this. I've been in my own prison, Kathy. <laughs> Do you know if? Uh, yeah, you think you suffered. Artie's in a real prison. Right? Do you know if uh, your girlfriend has a boyfriend now? She moved on, or she's still pining Listen, away for you? I don't know, man. You don't know anything. No, I don't. Wow. I haven't spoke to her in a while. The letters. Kinda... Is that hurtful? Yo, I, you know, it's not. You know what? Because uh, prison is what it is, and if and how did God I control come me. to you? When I was being um, uh, what I call torture, and the, the whole thing was going down, uh, you know, I've always been spiritual, not necessarily religious, because I don't believe God is religious. I think religious is uh, religion. God is in your heart, and if you believe that there is a God, then... The rest will all fall into place. You've had a lot of time to think about this, I bet. Yeah. 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 You've been and I've done a lot, lot of, of... Huh? You did a lot of reading. Man, you I did wrote me. so much reading. But what was it? All those quotes you were scribbling on the paper I couldn't make out? What Emerson. Was Emerson. This guy's quoting Emerson, oh. and I'm like... And he's scribbling half a book down. I can't even make out one <laughs> It wasn't word. a half a book. Dude, it was half the page. Yo, I, I quoted Emerson to you, bro. <laughs> Emerson is the bomb. <laughs> have you ever read Emerson? I know you have. I personally... I like I like Lake and Palmer better. Vince, go ahead. We're celebrating the uh, rebirth, in a sense, of I caviar. I still didn't hear how God came to you. Oh, Howard. I've been a big fan for a long time. But, Cavi, all I have to say to you is, yo, uh, yeah, I'm saying, though. And um, I wanted to see if you were going to go see that movie, uh, Gay Man's Chest, since you got out of jail. Why would he see that? Because, you know, because he took it in the ass a little bit before he got into prison and all. So I just wondered if he wanted to go see that movie with Johnny Depp. But he's got to see the, the other version, Gay Man's Chest, not Dead Man's Chest. Let's go to Dave. I don't know what the point is Yo, there. He sat, he sat on hey, the phone Howard, for a hey, half hey, hour hey. Thinking, about thinking about that. that. Now yeah. you realize it's precious time. Now you realize a year in jail is precious like time. The best wasted, thing is, wasted. Wasted. is I could have came up with that and like, Will you waste time? Will you waste time now? That Can you give me a meeting with Sabian? Yes, absolutely. That's going to happen. Dave, you're on the air. Cabby, how you doing? Welcome home. We love you, brother. Yo, what's up? What's up? <laughs> Howard, I've got a great idea. Put him on the midnight shift. We love this guy. You yeah, love Cabby. I think I, I got more quality than the midnight shift. I spent a year in fucking prison, guy, jackass. Cabby. I mean, listen, Cabby's looking for a higher profile. <laughs> yeah. Hear me out for a second, Howard. Yeah. We, there's a lot of us that get up really early, and the only thing on Sirius, I get up about 3 a.m., mm-hmm. and I love your show, but, you know, second time around, Pharrell replay, I don't know. It's just not, it's not happening. Cabby is a midnight kind of guy. He's an overnight kind of guy. I am. Can you, pay, right, can well, you pay me well enough for midnights? Fi- Who knows? You hey, got uh, tons of money. I heard, what, 450 you I made? got more than that. More Four, than no, that. but you made like 450 last year, right? That's right. Scott, Yo, go ahead. You're on the can air you, in Plattsburgh. Can you Howard cut a nigger a slice? <laughs> I could say that word now. Oh, and I got to tell you about the word nigger in prison. What about it? Well, it's a swear word to me. I, I, I tell the blacks you can't say that around me, and right. they respected that. Because if you don't know what the word means, you shouldn't say it, and right. most of them don't. And they they stop saying it around me because I explained to them that means ignorant and you can't you know why are you calling someone in your race ignorant? But did you know that Puerto Ricans call each other nigger? Yes, I did. Everybody's know that. doing it. Yeah. Chinese, the Chinese call each other nigger. Already wake up. <laughs> was, did you catch him sleeping? <laughs> I did. I know he sleeps through half the show now. Yo, <laughs> enough <laughs> with your fucking prison with story. Your fucking yeah. Steven Singer watch you got for free. All the money you, you make. Dude, already. that's a tag hoyer. I yeah, that's a Steven that. Singer. That's ah, not Stevens. I paid for this. Watch. All right, Scott, go ahead in Plattsburgh, New York. Here, put this Howard, on your listen, cock. you're his friend. You think, he, <laughs> Dude. You, you think he's got a problem, right? I think he's his friend. I, I mean, think, honestly. Yeah. I mean, what do you want? What, what do you, do you want, want me to do? do? 
Exactly. I what mean, problem? The, the man is, is spouting com- conspiracy theories. Uh, the oh, I haven't even got to the computer chip they put in my head, jackass. Did they put a computer chip in your well, head? Well, look at this dot on my yeah, forehead. You had me going in the beginning. I Maybe you're Hindu, too. Here. See the, see the little dot he right does, there? He does have a dot on his head. It was not there before. True. It was not Are you making before. a joke see or are you saying the I'm truth? I'm not. I'm not. Look at See it? Yeah. Do see you it? believe there's a computer chip in your head? Well, all I know is... Uh, Why would they put it where you could see it? Yeah. Why would they put it in the back? Listen, I'm an actor, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know? Do, do you really believe they put a computer chip Listen, in your head? Listen, all I know is... Wow. Do you remember... Uh, have you ever read about the Dr. Uh, Juan Carlo? In the, in the 50s and 60s, he created... Um, Electrodes that they put in monkeys' heads, and oh, they would electro- electronically stimulate the brain. Yes. And then they actually put them in humans. Okay. And uh, for epilepsy, uh, epileptic seizures and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Well, now they make small little things like that, and that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> and you feel Howard, that? You, he is no, I'm not. Perfect promotion for just put them on the air. You got to listen <laughs> to everything the guy says. Put them on with Riley. <laughs> How can I get one of these, What kind bro? of drug lasts for 50 days? I don't you know. know. I mean? Yo, I didn't say they did it once, Dimple. <laughs> <laughs> All right? Howard, get him on his kitchen possible. Pay him 300 Fucking bag. Uh, Scott, you want to see him on the air. Get, get him on the air. Oh. You got to listen to everything the guy says. He's funny in the beginning. You yeah. want him off the air, and then he gets you. He brings you back around. Says, oh, I, I stole this from you. What's your news then, guy? Uh, Hold it a second. Hold on. Wait a second. Uh, Let's go to Andrew. Andrew, you're on the air. Hey, Chad, man. Glad to see you're out. Thank you. You, hey, want, uh, you can see through the radio? Yeah. In your head, man. Everybody can see. All right, yeah, everybody's right. happy that you're, uh, you're Are back. they really? Remember yeah. when they used to call and just hate me? I well, still have no all one those was happy emails. to see you go to jail. No one was happy to see you go to jail. Hi. Jessica, Hi. go ahead. Jessica Hahn, a woman who oh. really knows how to please men. Hi, Kathy. Did, I wrote you a love letter. When Yo. You were, I did. Can it's I tell you, Jessica, Kathy. I got your big-titted <laughs> fucking uh, 1974 Playboy pose. No, it wasn't 74. I know, I know. Who's the, who's the chick that sends your mail? Um, Lori, why? Is she hot? Kinda, yeah. All right, I'm just yeah. looking. You could ask Casey. It's all over the place. <laughs> hey, hey, Cabby. Yeah. I missed you. I, you did? Yeah, I think you should have a show. You have a lot to say. Yeah, Thank he you. has a lot of verbiage. I Can know. I tell you what happened to my Jessica uh, Han picture? What? No. Did you beat off to it? No. What? Actually, it's a really sad story. Um, I was so really fucked up on whatever was happening in my cell. I really wanted to get out of the cell, so I started cramming shit in my toilet and flushing it so it would flood because that's a way you can get your cell changed. Right. And there was another PC cell right next to mine, but I noticed they had put paper over the window and they sell, they, they put a thing on the thing, that's the, the door that said out of order. So I knew that they were doing something, whether they were videotaping into my cell to videotape what was going on. You can call it a conspiracy theory. And I might be spilling too much on the air, and I probably am, so I should shut up. All right, okay. But I'm not going to. My picture? Yo, no. Your picture. <laughs> this is great. You're going to love this, Jessica. I tore it up <laughs> just in halfway because your tits were nicer than your face at the time. And I'm not trying to insult you. Oh, I was yeah. on fucking PCP or whatever they were <laughs> drugging me with. <laughs> and I took a shit on it. That's about right. You yeah, took a shit on Jessica's great. picture? I, yo, Why? I was drugged. Uh, Dude, Jessica, I, so- I loved you. But they, yo, I was out of my skull, kid. Oh, made my day, honey. Right. Thank my head, you. Baby. Yo, it was like a shot. Geyser film, honey, but thank you for the letter. A couple more phone calls. Let's go to Steve. This Steve. is why I didn't write. Right. Yo. <laughs> this is why I was afraid Fred. to read his letters. It's good to see you, Fred. Good to see you too, man. Remember I told You're doing you... doing all right? I'm good, man. Okay. Remember I told you, Robin, that I didn't want my my letters hanging around in prison, or I was afraid when Cabby wrote me, like, they'd be shit all over the... Right. the Yo, uh, dude. Uh, dude. Uh, dude. Dude. Yeah. He does look Yo, good. I ate, he looks good. Listen, yeah. I ate a radio. And and my watch. What, you you think that was a fucking schizophrenic breakdown? I don't know. Radio? I don't know anything about no, it. No, why would a schizophrenic do that? Well, uh, what do you mean he ate a radio? Yo, I, because I thought there was a listening device in it. <laughs> but <laughs> what about the one in your head, bud? <laughs> Wouldn't it be easier to I think he needs out? a job. Well, I didn't want Fred, to what is going I, I on here? I don't want to pry that open. <laughs> Cabby, hold on. I got to talk to Fred. Fred, what's going on here with Cabby? Be Did, clear with me. I, I can ask you a question. Did you ever receive a head injury at some point in your life? Many I'm, I'm as a child, serious. many as a child, I, and many as I an adult. Is, and I'm not being facetious. I don't want to rag on Cabby, but I mean, because when you first came in, man, you were like, you seem you know, pretty focused. As this whole conversation keeps going on, you seem to be drifting a lot. And I'm concerned about that. I'm concerned what kind of radio he ate. <laughs> <laughs> and what does that go Terrestrial with? Terrestrial or sort of satellite? 
<laughs> Yo, they should have satellite radios in prison. Right. And if you are able to afford them, you should be able to have them. Absolutely. You know what it is? I haven't seen normal people in a long time, and I'm excited. Yeah. And you guys are this my is friends. A big, this, listen, whether he admits it or not, this is a huge emotional of day for Kevin. Yeah. I don't even think great. he knows how big this is. And I is. need to tell you. Welcome back, Cabby. Prison folk... Yo, and I'll say yo again, they fucking love you guys. You have no idea oh, I have how idea. crushed they are that you're not on TV anymore. Right. The well, brothers, TV? the brothers, they miss, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying, they miss, they can't get their groove on, and they For told the audience, me to say he, that. He, when he said brothers, he pointed to the sister. <laughs> they said, you fucked them, no offense. Not me. When you I, took your show I off, I didn't e. take it off. They we took didn't it take off. Yeah. We didn't take anything. I know, but they you, know just, what? you need to go back in jail and explain you that to them. You didn't explain? Thanks I a can't lot. explain. Don't you know how to represent? Uh, yo, that's my who reference. He, uh, nice. How's um, he going to represent when he's on PCP that they're feeding Hey, him? I was oh. forced by the Masons. <laughs> Thank you. All right, listen, the Steve. The brothers. <laughs> the brothers. <laughs> Steve, you're on the air. Cabby is back. He wants you to know it. He is saying it loud. He's saying it. He's I proud. Am. I am proud. He's a free man. He can do whatever he wants And tonight. I will be a free Mason. You are free. Go yeah, ahead, that Steve. Big, that big faggot misses prison already. Oh. <laughs> yeah, sucking dick all day like a big fucking queer bastard he is. KB, is it possible prison? Is it your first time swearing, sir? No. Okay. Did you know swearing is a crutch of the egg? Sucking, sucking a big boo's dick in prison. Who's big boo? Your mom? Listen, listen. Did you know that swearing is a crutch of the ignorant, jackass? What do you do for a living? Oh, oh, oh there it goes, jackass. Huh? What do you do for a living? About it. I'm a truck driver. God bless you. Honk that horn then. Yeah, here you go. See? There you go. <laughs> there you go. All right, goodbye. Listen, Cabby, because i got to wrap things up. Why do you got to wrap things up? Because Cabby's I got a life. in for the rest of the show. You don't have this a is, life. Cabby, listen to me. You've got $450 million, man. You've got many lives. Cabby, listen to me. That's a prison of its own kind. Uh, yeah, it is a prison. Don't think, I don't think I'm not imprisoned by that. <laughs> uh, I'm sure you are. Cabby, let me ask you this. Yes. Is there in any way, shape, or form that prison was a blessing that, in other words... Yes, he found God. You not only lost weight, you got in shape. Yeah. And found God. You no found God. That. You read. You read you, Emerson. I mean... I when, did. When and would Whit you have and ever Whitman. Read, Whitman, Poe. When would you have ever read those books? Hemingway. Yo, have you ever read Hemingway? How would no, you I ever... <laughs> oh, my God. That even, dude was can't twisted. Read. Have you ever read Hemingway? Yes. That dude, he wrote a short story called... Old Man called, of the Sea. Yo, a very short story. I never read that. Old Man of the Sea. It's two pages long, right? It's about a guy and a chick in Italy, and they're fucking, and then they break up, and he goes to, uh, he stays in Italy, right, and meets a chick, and she goes to Chicago and gets gonorrhea, and that's the end of the story. Wow. That's fucking balls. That's, that's the real. end of a lot of stories. <laughs> <laughs> right? I'd read that, but yeah. I'm watching American Idol. All right, listen, Cabby, this is a big day for you. Howard, I love you, man. I love you, too. Listen to me. I sense you're all over the place today, but uh, I understand. No, I'm just it. excited and brother. And I absolutely, it. this it's been hell. Be yo, yo, I've yo. cried more Easy. in the past nine months about uh, a lot of things. You uh, bet. That's because you're reading about from fruits like Walt Whitman. Get a real book. Ah, and Poe. Poe. Get a good book. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell you all about Edgar Allan Poe, there, buddy. He has a life very similar to yours, very I'm depressing and alcoholic. I'm a big fan of Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah, he's a good guy. He died with somebody else's clothes on in a gutter at the age of 40. <laughs> <laughs> yep, he did. That's the truth. It is true. He Cabby. knows. Cabby. Yo. Look at me. I'm looking, baby. I want you to look at me. I am. All right. You've always given me solid, staunch advice. Okay, here's my advice. Give it to me. I want you to take a deep breath. I want you to experience this day of freedom. Think before you talk. Keep it all real. Don't get too crazy. You know I've always kept it real. Let yeah. the dust and settle. And that's why Let you... Let the dust settle. Don't make any big major decisions. I'm not. But that's why Don't you've always loved anyone. me, right? Listen to me. Right? Don't fault... Yes. Don't fault anyone. Don't get into any arguments today. You're not even ready to put this into context. Um, that's right. Whatever happens today, just make it a peaceful, joyous time. You know what I'm saying? Warrior Cabby, he'll come out. But not today. Today is a day to relax. I'm angry, though. Yeah. Listen to me. No, I'm just angry because some evil shit happened because I called your show, and that's why it happened. Mm. You that's know right. that, right? And you shouldn't have done that. Well, you shouldn't you know, have. Can I tell you, let me back, back sell that. You know why I did it? 
I understand why. No, you, you did it. don't, because I didn't get to that because we kind of jumped ahead. Right. You know why I called you show, Howard? Why? A because I love you. B because it's what I do. But C because when I went into prison, I wanted to lay low, and I wanted to be mellow. Because that's what somebody who'd done some real time in real prisons told me how to do my time. That's right. Mm -hmm. And they didn't allow me to do that. Because they put me with a CO in a job that paraded me around as Cabby, who was the biggest Howard Stern fan in the fucking prison. And he asked me personal questions about Robin Quivers and how much money she made, which I don't know. I was going to say, well, how would you know? Exactly. <laughs> I don't And even asked know. me personal questions about Fred mm -hmm. and his contract and asked me about fucking Artie and where he lives and asked mm -hmm. me about the inside of your house. Okay. And I could put his name out there, but I'm not going to do, do that. that. Don't do that. No. I'm not going to, no. but I'm just going to tell you that for... Is the it better funny? Part, the the better guy part, never asked about Benji. Oh, well, yeah. Right. But, yo, he... Take he, that back. And he paraded me around the fucking compound as cabbie, and I begged him every day, yo, it's Morozak. It's Moro, inmate Morozak. Inmate Morozak. And I used to show, when he'd do it, I used to show my little ID card. This is my ID card. Let me see. That's your prison ID? My prison ID. Look at that picture, huh? That's a convict right there. All right, that's a sign. This, you hold on to this and remember how horrible prison was. But I used to say, and I begged to get out of that job. I went to the uh, the boss, the, the 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 unit manager, and I said, "Yo, please take me out of this job. This guy is harassing me because he's a huge Howard Stern fan, and I just want to lay low." Because there are a lot of inmates who got twenty five years or life sentences or whatever that that just you know they might think i'm getting special privilege okay, listen to me listen hang to me. on listen to me i need to tell you this i need to tell you something that's why i made that phone call okay but listen to me i did not deserve to be punished for this that. guy whoever the ceo was was right. excited you had some celebrity yeah. he was enjoying it i'm a loser with a cool job no, but man. listen to me so you just you, you 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 say to the guy thank you maybe he could have even been a bit of a mentor to you in prison <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? You're talking Yo. to him while he's shoving a mic Yo. Uh, thing on his A mentor? <laughs> maybe what do I need, a, could have been what a do I need a mentor in prison? Maybe he could have been a friend in prison. Maybe you don't have CEOs you. as friends in prison, man. Well, maybe, That's he how you get, maybe he could have been nice to you. You get in trouble like and that. And as soon as you report on him to the authorities. I didn't report on him, though. I did it the way you're supposed to. I just went and asked to have my job changed. You never do that. Mm. You yeah. just sit and no, do whatever they tell uh, you to do. And then everyone forgets, and they leave you alone. And that's what I'm Look, saying. it's over. It's over now. I don't want you to sit there and get angry about what happened the past year. I want you to put it in its perspective, it's over, and I want Johnny. you to move on and create a great life now. You're a free man. You hear what I'm saying? Look you at know, me. You know, Artie must be Freak. scared, because with all the cabbies wanting, he's never done one way. Oh. Yeah, I didn't hear what? any whaz. <laughs> <laughs> I went to jail. <laughs> all right, cabby, listen Fred to me. <laughs> Welcome back. Yeah. Your dreams are your ticket out. Yeah. The CEO asked me questions. <laughs> no. <laughs> you can be in that prison mentally forever now if you want to be there. Or yeah. you can be a free man. I know. It's always move forward. That's right. And if you want to be really a free man now, you've got to free yourself completely of this. Free your mind and the rest will follow. The That's free crazy. Free your mind and the rest will follow. <laughs> Tell him. George Clinton. <laughs> right? I know all about that. P-Funk, baby. Notice Artie didn't even bring up the money you owe him. <laughs> All right, and he never will. I owe a lot of people money. That's right. Do I owe you money? No. And I've never asked you for a penny, have I? And I know Artie doesn't want to say this, but I'm going to say it for him. You don't have to pay Artie. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> He's not looking for your money. No, I wait for my, I wait for my money from everybody. Yo, what did you think of that softball movie coming out and, and stabbing, All right, let me stabbing yours quick? Let me talk what to Dominic. Dominic movie? Barber wants to say something. Dominic, go yeah, ahead. One more thing. You said one day. He's got one year. And what if his parole officer is a Howard Stern fan and tries to give him a hard time? He can't violate for a year. Example, and I'm just trying to use an example. If they would set you up with someone who's a known prostitute, that's a violation. You have to follow this parole officer strictly. We don't want you back. Uh -huh. And they can send you for the rest uh -huh. of your sentence. It's supervised release, right? Didn't you get that? Yeah, so why are you, like, trying to let no, no, no. people... He's helping you. Don't get I'm defensive. Trying. He's saying, well, I'm, think I'm everything not. through that you do. Don't even go see a hooker tonight. <laughs> I yeah, would I'll never. I've never been with a hooker in my He's life. He's giving you oh, an no, example. I know, I know that, but the point I'm using is I'm trying to say what Howard said for one day is for one year. Their test 
is to see if you should be in society. We know you should, I guess, but we don't want you. <laughs> Thanks for the confidence. I, I just, I really don't want to talk to him. Because, Why are you getting upset with what he's saying? Because he just, it's like he sets me up to fail, and I'm not no, that guy. No, I don't know. Please, I don't, I don't. Oh, thanks, Dominic. Please. I pray for you to succeed. I pray All for right. you. All right, so. Dominic, thank you. He is getting upset. All right. It says here your black cellmate is on the phone. Spider, do you know him? Is, that your, is this your cellmate? Hello? Sure, let's talk to Spider. Spider? I said, wow, 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 how you have it? You said. <laughs> That's him. <laughs> there he is. I well, miss you, Spider. Right. Fred, did you want to add something to this? Uh, issue? No, Dominic's gone. I wanted to know what, like, the top three things that Cabby should not do All so right. he stays on the street. I know what Cabby's got to do. Let me tell Cabby what to do, if you don't mind. I got to get Please. a job. No. I got to get a place to live. Forget all that. <laughs> right right There's now. There's three things Cabby should do. The three things Cabby should do. Number one, lay low, don't talk to anybody. Mm. Number two, really don't talk to anybody. <laughs> and number three, keep very quiet. Yeah. You know what I was going to say That's the it. three things are? Yeah. Listen and listen and listen. Don't yeah. say a word. All right. Just listen to what people tell you. Yo, is it true you had a fucking load dropped on your chest? Oh. <laughs> yeah, that really got him. You, uh, <laughs> Where'd that come from? <laughs> Hold it. Tom Chiasano's on the phone. You got fucked in the ass. No. Nope. <laughs> hey, Tom. Tom C. It is Tom Chiasano calling. <laughs> I am looking forward to our lunch today. <laughs> I am a Christian, so I hope you do not curse around me. Right. Can That's I suck your cock, Cabby? That's crazy. <laughs> I love Jesus H. Christ. I am lonely now that my lover, Dead Air Dave, is gone. Will you be my new boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Tom. Lunch might have to love God. All right. Thank you, Tom. Yes. Th I said thank you. See you at lunch might have to love God. All right. There he is, Tom Chisano. Tattooed love god. That's your name. <laughs> oh, you're tattooed love Can't god. Can't be listening. Sounds like Stephen yeah. Hawking. Now, what Dominic was talking about, about violating your parole, you got to be so aware. Like, if a buddy invites you to lunch and he's with a friend and that friend, like, deals weed or something. Mm -hmm. Get out of there. You, you, could, you could be in violation of your parole. Like, you got to be that careful. Artie knows. He's mm. done some time. He's hard. done some time. No, I'm just saying, like, like you, you can't associate with anybody who might do something illegal. You might illegal. not be able to associate with... with can't the, associate with Artie. I'm going to be a reckless I'm going to be a recluse As a matter of fact, that's my year. point, Robin. Stay away from me. <laughs> Don't hang out with Artie. Even. I'm going to be a recluse. Good. Artie never wanted to hang out keep, with me before I tried. Keep reading. Sounds keep like reading. a Ronnie song. Call me. I was on my way to Staten Island to stop you from eating your uh, appliances one night. <laughs> 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 well, they were talking to me. Uh, All right, listen. Yeah, this is. I'm happy for you. God bless it's you. It's so good to see you. Hello. I'm happy you're out of jail. Believe me, every I remember Christmas. Forget you. It was the hardest time for me because I had to think about the fact that you were in jail. Really? That's right. See what you did to Howard. See what you did. To <laughs> <laughs> you ruined his Christmas. You <laughs> Christmas. I was like, fuck, Cabby's in jail, and it's bitch. Christmas. I ruined your Christmas. You ruined my Christmas. Yeah. Well, so well, never do that again to me. Thank God uh, I didn't Christmas, think about it. Christmas, I was eating mm. a Apologize to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What'd you buy me? Um, let me tell you something. Yeah. No joke. A lot of people were very upset about all of this. He's I, talking I about know. wasted time. That yeah. day we went to see you, we started out at like 6 o'clock in the did. morning. I know. And when they told and me that you guys were outside and couldn't come in, and then oh. they sent you home... That's torture. They, 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 they told you, they, they came they and said that... They had us wait until, first, we were supposed to be able to get it at 8. Yep. Nobody was there at all. Then the line started. We found out we could get in at 1. We go up to the gate at 1, and they tell us we won't be able to see you till 5 right. in the evening. My father was so upset about that. For a week, he's calling me. He, he couldn't understand why that went down. Unbelievable. Yeah, all right, look. Cabby. Congratulations on getting out of prison. You did your time. It was a bad situation, terrible situation. I am just very, very happy for you. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. And this is the start, the beginning of the rest of your life. The misdemeanor tax violator's out of prison. Good. But what will you write? What will be written on these pages? That's right. Where well, we? the book is going to be titled The Great American Gulag. 
All right. Okay. Enough of that. I'm talking about what you do <laughs> no from one's today that. on. Forget <laughs> that book. you got to come up with a better title. Yeah. All right. Good. What are you talking about? That's not a great title. Oh, it Nobody's is a great gonna title. Nobody's going to take that off the shelves. Oh, yeah, they and are. And how dare you be responsible for Robin wasting a day of her life. <laughs> <laughs> that was her 9-11. That's right. All right. That Thank was you. the day after Thanksgiving. I'm going to take a break. This has been very, very emotionally draining for me. Howard. Thank you. Thank you, Cabby. And uh, I'm sure that good things lie ahead for you. You think? I think so. You, you feel it? Actually not, but yeah. I'm going to say it anyway. Not here, but somewhere else. Let me tell you another thing about that day. I was crap with Tom and Ronnie. <laughs> Yo, is it true that uh, you went into the port john in the woods or something, somebody said? I think Ronnie and Tom did that. I yeah. stayed in the car. Welcome back. Thanks, man. All right, my friend. All right. Uh, the great uh, cabbie. Word, <laughs> money, Word. G. Right. Pay your taxes. Back, man. Yo, it's uh, it's good to be back, man. This this is nice. You had to be thinking of this, you know, when you knew you were getting out, and you had to be thinking of this moment, you know, first getting a chance to see Howard and everything. Yeah, you know, actually, I wasn't thinking of it, but I was. You know, I was more thinking about just getting out, and uh, uh, it's funny. This morning, uh, I walked out, and I, uh, they were driving me down the compound on this little golf cart, and seeing the the razor wire, and just like going, God, I'm out of this motherfucker. That 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 was more it. You know? Well, like actually arriving here, is this how you expect the place to look? And I didn't really know. Um, uh, I didn't have any expectations. How about that? So it felt pretty good to curse in there, though. You seem like. Uh... Yeah, it's just different. When we were driving in and we were listening to it on the radio, I was like, wow, it's saying fuck on the air. It's weird to hear. You know, you think you want to say it all the time, but then it just. You don't have to say it all the time because it's. Not how you speak. But also not having to think about, you know, choosing right, words. Right, exactly. It's so, it's odd. So what's the future going to hold for you, man? What's I don't know. I'm going to try to figure that out hopefully in the next few days. Uh, hopefully sooner than later. So you're going to be back on the radio somewhere? I would hope to be, or uh, I'll be homeless. Or I'll be digging ditches. I'll do whatever I do, you know? It seems like there's, there's a chance you might be joining Howard, though, on one of his...